Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts and welcome. So this is my grungy Grammy doll family here and um, I'm going to show you guys five different items or tools or you know things that you can use on making dolls and I'm going to show you the five things that I really really need every time I make these dolls. So if you guys are interested in purchasing any of these guys, there is a link down below for them uh, in the description box below. Plus, if you're interested in making your own dolls, I have every one of these different links down in the description box also. So you guys can come get the pattern and come make your own. So let's get started here. Okay, so I want to show you guys the first thing here. It's going to be Fabrifix glue. I could not make dolls without my Fiberfix glue. I love the stuff. It is great. And I will have Amazon affiliate links down below that you guys can come and uh, look through and purchase and get whatever you need because the, the, all these little items are super fun to use. So I got Fiberfix glue. And what I do is I keep it in an olive jar that I've had glue and it leaked out a little bit. I did have a dye in there. That it was on for the longest time and then it just kind of started leaking so i just let it all dry and get hard in there and i just pop in my sweet sugar bell piping container and it has a little metal tip so this stuff is great and i just you can kind of see in there I just kind of pop it right down in there and it's ready to go when i'm ready to use it because that's the worst pet peeve ever is when you're trying to do some glue and just have it come out right away and it just you have to sit there and hold it and hold it and hold it until it finally comes out so i like it when i'm using this i just pop it in there and have it ready to go so there fabric fix glue and i would just take it and it's great to glue like their hair i take it and glue their hair on I put their you know antlers on and different things like that and it's just great to do all that and get all that glued on okay so that's number one now let's go to number two so number two is going to be a two part scissors because I have two different kinds of scissors. I got my fabric scissors, which I'll show you. So I always have to have my scissors scissors and I hide these scissors from the kids and from my husband and from everybody because these are my fabric scissors and they're not you supposed to be used on anything else but fabric. So I don't know if you guys have that same, you know, Thing with your scissors but uh, I'd love to hear from you in the comments if uh, you know you do because I know my mom she's a sewer and quilter and everything and I remember growing up do not touch her fabric scissors because those are her scissors and they're for the fabric and that is the rule that is the rule so you take it and you take your fabric scissors and you cut around okay we got that and then I got my embroidery scissors so these are just some cute little embroidery scissors um, I will try to find an Amazon link for these, and I'm sure there is, but I just got these down at um, just a little, it's called Buy Mart here in Oregon. And uh, I just went there and got it. Like Walmart would have them too, but just little embroidery scissors. They're little storks. They're cute. But this is what I use these for because they're nice little snippers. So I like it to, around the curves and stuff of the doll here, I just do little slits just like that. So these come in really handy for that. So scissors is number two. All right, so now let's move on to number three. So number three is my fabric tube turners. These things are amazing. Um, I definitely could not do, flip out my little arms and legs and different things on my doll. This is what it looks like. I have it down in the links and it's a quick turn fabric tube turners is what it is. And I just put it in another olive jar and this is just the perfect height and everything. And I just keep them in there. So you have different sizes. Okay. And this one's the perfect size for my little arms, my dolls. So you just take them, come in here like that. This is definitely a game changer. And then I take the flat end and then just push it through. It's easy as that. I mean, look at that, you guys, so fast. And then I take the pointy end and just 
make it rounded. So this is definitely, if you're making dolls with tiny little parts, you're going to want to invest in some of this, these little tube turners. I mean, they just make it so easy. I mean, you saw how fast it is. Uh, so there we go. So that is number three. So let's move on to number four. So number four is hemostats. And these are just really, really handy to have, especially like with the little arms and legs and little corners and crevices that you're going to get into. These come in super handy when you're stuffing. Like you take your fiber fill and put it in there so easy and just right in there. So these are definitely handy to have. So there we go. So that is number four. So number five is my wonder clips. They can be just wonder clips or just little clips. These come in super handy. It comes with a nice little tin here, a little tin with a handle. And I take it like if you don't want to use, you know, like your pens and stuff and put holes into your fabrics uh, or just to grab something real quick and just clamp it on there and clip it and just sew it around. And it just makes it really nice and easy to just grab hold of and do your sewing with. I hope these tools and will make it a little bit easier for you when you're making your dolls and stuff. And if you could please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. And keep on crafting.